Hey guys, this video is part 2 of my showcase of the mod trinket Birth Cake, which has a different effect for every single character in the game, just like the birthright item. The first video explained the unique cake effects of all 17 regular characters. Make sure to check it out as well if you saw this video here first. The link is down below or on the top right. But either way, it is now time to show you the second half of the trinket by explaining the cake effects of all 17 tainted characters in the game. So let's get into it. Starting with Tainted Isaac. His birth cake effect is called Danger equals Space. And it can only trigger when you take damage while all 8 slots of your inventory are filled. Every time that happens, there is a 25% chance that the cake will create a copy of one of your items at random. The copy is permanent and displayed on the right side like a normal item. It is now up to you if you want to keep the original or drop it for something else. But this will not affect the copy, it will stay forever and will not occupy a slot. Just remember that not all items in the game stack with themselves. If you are not sure if the item you just copied can be stacked, drop the original to see if it changes anything. However, each time the cake copies one of your items, there is also a 50% chance that it will get destroyed. This is basically a way to balance its powerful effect. Up to Tainted Maggie. Her cake effect is called Heart Attack, and that name can be taken quite literally. Each time one of her temporary hearts would vanish, it will explode instead. The blast will deal damage to surrounding foes and also create a puddle of red creep that does the same. This can lead to fun chain reactions against groups of enemies. Next up is Tainted Kane. His cake effect is called Repurpose and comes with two abilities. The first one simply causes all double pickups to be spawned as two separated ones. This allows him to only put one of the two parts into the bag while picking the other one up for the normal inventory to have more control over the crafting. On top of that, putting something inside the bag always has a 5% chance to put the collected pickup into your own inventory as well, basically getting double the value. Tainted Judas' birth cake effect is called Aftermath, and just like his birthright, this one also revolves around his Dark Arts item, this time by applying a slow on hit. The slow only lasts for 3 seconds against bosses and mini bosses, but regular foes suffer from the effect for a total of 14 seconds, which is longer than the cooldown of Dark Arts itself. Tainted Blue Baby's Cake is called Sturdy Turks and grants two new effects to his throwable poop obstacles. The first one will make them fully resist all enemy projectiles. You can use this to hide behind your poops and fully counter difficult bullet hell patterns from bosses, but keep in mind that you can't shoot through them either. The second effect of the cake will allow your enemies to walk through your poop obstacles. However, doing that will heavily slow them down until they step out of it. This will make it very easy to control your foes and you can even bait them into your poisonous or flaming poops to easily deal with them without even shooting. Next up is Tainted Eve. Her cake effect is called Sanient and will allow you to spawn two blood clots at once at the cost of draining twice as much life each time. You obviously have to be a bit more careful here, but this will allow you to summon a fresh army really quickly if you had to call them back in an emergency situation. But that's not all. Her cake comes with a second ability. It will also cause all of your blood clots to explode into small red creep puddles when they die. Tainted Zemson's birth cake is called Unending Rampage and grants a chance to spawn a random part whenever you clear a new room while he is in his berserk mode. Entering an empty room for the first time also counts as clearing it for this effect, so it can also trigger there. On top of that, each time a heart drops from this effect, your Berserk mode duration will also be extended by 5 seconds. Well, I said chance, but the funny part is, I am pretty sure the effect was bugged when I made this recording, because it triggered every single time without fail. This allowed me to make it all the way to the Caves 2 boss fight without ever leaving the Berserk mode on my first try. This is clearly not intended and will probably be fixed by now. Tainted Azazel's cake effect is called Allergy Up and fully revolves around his sneeze attack. The first of its two effects will make him receive knockback when he uses it. 
And on top of that, the sneeze will actually become contagious. Hitting enemies with it will apply a poison to them, which will hit them for 100% of your damage with each tick. Tainted Lazarus' cake effect is called a gift from the other side, and it will give the holder of the trinket a copy of a random item from the other form when entering in your room. This basically allows you to use the good items of one half of the character on both sides, but keep in mind that you can't pick the copy. Look out for possible anti-synergies. Speaking of randomness, Tainted Eden's cake effect is called Undecided and adds even more chaos to the character by messing around with the item pedestals in your run. Each time you encounter a new item pedestal for the first time, there is a chance for it to turn into either a glitched item or any random item from a different item pool. Tainted Lost's birth cake is called Small Fortune at a cost and also affects the item pedestals but in this case by granting a 25% chance to spawn an additional one. This effect would obviously be completely overpowered if it wouldn't have a downside, so each time the first effect triggers there is also a 50% chance for the cake to explode. The blast will deal 100 damage to all enemies in the current room while also removing your mantle in the process. The cake itself will be removed from your inventory and never come back. Up to the mother of demons and her very fitting cake effect, I asked for your help, which will spawn the Incubus and Succubus familiar alternating after each room. This is obviously a really powerful trinket since it is basically just an item, especially considering that the two familiars are very strong ones without downsides. The two demons will always switch after each room, even if you just backtrack to already cleared ones. This means the order is set and you can't force a specific demon for a specific room. However, the big exception to this is the floor's boss room, where both demons will be active at the same time. After that, the previous demon order of the floor will be reversed. Tainted Keeper's birth cake effect is called Local Business and will turn the starting room of each floor into a golden shop that sells one item and two random pickups. The random item will always be from the shop item pool, but what's even more important here is the fact that the three objects will always be on sale for the usual discount. Remember, Tainted Keeper has to buy all of his items anyway, so his cake adds even more options for him to spend his money on which is really powerful in this case as the shop pool is quite useful for him. Tainted Apollyon's cake effect is called Harvest and will allow his Abyss item to turn all trinkets on the ground into weaker locusts that deal only 50% of his damage. To make this clear, you don't get the effects of the trinkets like regular Apollyon gets with his birth cake, but the locusts alone are already a good damage boost either way. Tainted Forgotten's cake effect is Spectral Protection, which will grant two orbital flies to the soul and one to the body. All three of them will only block tears but not deal any contact damage. I am not sure why the body would even need the orbital since it can't take any damage anyway, but the trinket is basically a halo of flies for the vulnerable soul. But a trinket that's just a copy of an item would be boring, right? That's why the cake also causes enemies to chase after the body while the soul isn't close by. This effect is arguably even stronger than the first one, since it is both defensive and offensive at the same time, as the body is also your main source of damage. Tainted Bethany's cake is called Desire Fulfilled and will make your Lemegaton items spawn two item wisps instead of one. However, the cake will be consumed after that. But it is important to note that the two chosen items will 100% be picked from the current room's item pool, so choose wisely where you want to eat your cake. And last but not least, we have Tainted Jacob and his cake called Uneasy Truths. It allows him to tank one hit from his brother Dark Esau without turning into the Lost. As you can see, the cake will be removed from your inventory when that happens. Yeah, you guessed it, Dark Esau ate the cake. But this also comes with some benefits. Your brother will be thankful for the quote unquote gift and will attack your foes instead of you for the rest of the current floor. But be careful, he can still hurt you. On top of that, your Anima Solar item will also get used against the closest enemy instead of Dark Esau. 
which makes it easier for your brother to finish them. But like I said, the keys fire will only last for the current floor. After that, Esau will come at you again with full force. So don't trigger the cake deliberately and better keep it for an emergency. And that was it for all 17 tainted birth cake effects in the mod. Which one was your favorite? Please let me know down in the comments. And again, make sure to watch part 1 of the video if you haven't seen it already. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this showcase and I will see you again in my next one. Bye! Favorite song.